Yeah, that the, the guy he said he was about he's gonna be done because eBay is gonna charge him tax. <laughs> oh, I hear a lot of people saying that actually. He sells too much, so he's he's done selling and he's gonna stick to basically just trading now. I had a lady reach out to me from one of my Switch trade posts and the stuff she has, it's all pretty common. There's an NES with like Mario and a bunch of other common games, but I offered her 80 bucks since it's not really Switch trade worthy and she said that was fine. So we're getting ready. We're going to go meet her. Hello. I appreciate you meeting me out here. Oh, not a problem. I had to come back this way anyways because I, well, I don't know if I'm still meeting my friends up at Joy, but... <laughs> Oh, two bags, huh? Well, did you... Well, one's the console and one's the games. Yep. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, I got $80 here for you. Awesome. 20, 40, 60, 80. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Yeah, no problem. At least now I know I'll go to a good home. If you have any other old stuff, shoot me a message. I'm interested in all of it. Yeah, as I'm purging, I'm finding stuff that I thought I got rid of that obviously I didn't. <laughs> so yeah, if I come across some more Nintendo stuff, I'll definitely reach out. I collect the stuff, so I definitely appreciate it. Okay, not a problem. Thank you. Thank you. We've got the console and stuff. We got a bag full of games. Ooh, Twin Eagle. I don't have that. All right, I'll go over this more thoroughly back at the house, but it's definitely a whole bag full of games. Yeah, it's all the common stuff. That's fine. I'll go over this stuff more thoroughly back at the house, but for 80 bucks, we got a bag full of NES games and an NES console, so I'm happy. So I'm not gonna price chart this lot just because I'm kind of in a rush. I actually have to go sell an Xbox 360 bundle like right now. But I am really quick, just going to show you guys what I got. So we got an NES console with 35 games. Almost all of these games are low value, like Skater Die, Football, Dr. Mario, Tetris, Double Dribble, bunch of common stuff. Uh, the best games here being the Mario Bros. 3 and the Zelda Great Cart, which I believe is about 20 to 25 bucks right now. Uh, the only games I needed for my collection here are Donkey Kong 3, Arcade Classic Series, Twin Eagle, and Sky Shark, which is a Taito game, so I wonder if it's any good. I know they make other games that are great. But most of these are going to be bundler titles that I'm going to have to sell with units as I come across them. But I mean, I'm pretty sure we can all agree that this is worth more than 80 bucks. I had a guy reach out from one of my Nintendo Switch trade posts, and he's got some pretty decent stuff. He's got two NES consoles, a SNES, a Nintendo Wii, a couple of PS2 Slims, and some pretty decent games. There's a copy of Def Jam Fight for New York. It's missing the manual, unfortunately, but I still need it for my collection. There's a copy of Dino Stalker, PT-04, just some pretty uncommon stuff. So after a little negotiation, we're gonna trade his bundle of consoles and games for my Animal Crossing Edition Switch, and a copy of Mario 3D All-Stars. Real quick, I just wanna shout out Phoenix Resale and Chase After the Right Price. These are the guys that actually popularized the idea of trading Switches for old retro video games on Facebook Marketplace. If you're not already subscribed, definitely go check out their channels. They do a lot of live video game hunting. They do a lot of selling on Amazon and eBay. They show you how they make their money, how they collect video games for free. And yeah, I'll put links down to their channels down in the description. Go check it out. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you as well. 
Kind of a far drive, huh? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> little half hour. So I crammed everything in this crate. I don't know if you want to go through it or what. But I'll check out some of the games. Sure. We can put it in the back of my car. You're more than welcome to open up and check out the Switch as well. Cool. It's brand new. Brand then new. The Mario game. Oh, cool. Is that one? That's new too, right? Yep. Brand wow. new. Nice. Brand new. Yeah, the guy that I, uh, the guy that I traded some other game stuff for, everything was, everything was brand new. He actually had the exact same game, still in the wrapper. Oh there yeah. Was, there was a small part of me that wished you had it open, but since it's sealed, I'm gonna leave it sealed for now. <laughs> Yeah, I actually bought a couple copies of that because it's like out of print now and that's, that's I do these trades all the time too. and it makes a good game to throw in, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, like, the guy, he said he was about, he's going to be done because eBay is going to charge him tax. <laughs> oh, I hear a lot of people saying that actually. He sells too much, so he's, he's done selling and he's going to stick to basically just trading now. Cool. Yeah, everything looks like it's all here, man. You even threw in that broken PS2 as well? I believe it's in there, yeah. I can go through and test them all. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I don't think, like I said, I don't think uh, power supply for the bottom two Nintendos. I have replacements. Okay, cool. I saw you add all the cables and the controllers for the other units, so yep. I should be good with that. I know what I'm getting into here. Cool. Awesome. Well, hey, I appreciate you meeting yeah, me out here, man. No problem. Enjoy the Switch. You too. Thanks. Thank you. Back at the house, I'm going to start laying everything out and price charting it and show you guys what it's all worth. All right, I finished putting this stuff into price charting. The total value comes to $1,000.34. The best stuff here being the Def Jam Fight for New York. I put it into price charting as loose since it's missing the manual, but it's still definitely worth more than 136 with the case. But we got other good stuff, The Suffering, $45 game, PTO, $25 game, Dino Stalker, $25, uh, Madden, $11 for PlayStation 2, $13, Metal Gear PlayStation 1, $26, Guitar Hero Metallica, that's definitely one to look for, it's been going up in price, that one's worth about $35 right now. Uh, Scarface, that's another really good one, worth about 50 bucks. Smackdown, Here Comes the Pain, another $50 game. But we got all the systems, all the controllers, everything into price charting, except for this controller, because it's got peeling sticks. But everything else came to 1034 We got four PlayStation 2 Slims. One of them I didn't put into price charting because he said it. one of these black ones don't work. But he sent me pictures, the other three did work, so I'm confident. We got a Nintendo Wii. I got replacement tops, so I'm not too worried about that. Super Nintendo console with one controller. I've got extra video cables, so that's nice. Two NES consoles and a bunch of quality titles. The only ones I'm keeping for my collection are The Suffering, PTO4, and Def Jam Fight for New York. Really sad that this one's missing the manual. It's got a little bit of wear towards the middle of the disc, but I know if I resurface it, it'll look nice and it'll play nice, so I'm definitely gonna hold on to it. My machine be able, should be able to take care of that. One of the main reasons that I wanted to buy this entire pickup is because I need these consoles. I have a bunch of extra games over here. NES games, some extra Wii games, a whole box full of extra PS2 games, and I know I can use these consoles to make bundles and sell them locally on Marketplace, so that's one of the things that really pushed me into doing this trade. I traded the Animal Crossing Switch and a copy of 3D Mario All-Stars, which is about 350 plus tax, and the total value of this bundle is 1034 so I'm pretty happy with that pickup. It's been a couple of weeks, but I actually got pretty lucky and I was able to pick up a case and manual to complete my copy of Def Jam Fight for New York. So you see my copy here doesn't have a manual. 
but this one I picked up on eBay is just the case and manual and I got this for I believe it was $25 which is super cheap I should be able to take this manual here for my copy and still sell the case for probably 30 to 40 bucks so not only do I get a free manual to complete my copy but I should be able to make a little bit of money at the same time super stoked about that now my Def Jam is complete. All right. Def Jam is a game that I actually played growing up as a kid. So I'm super stoked to have this in the collection and complete. The disc isn't perfect. It's got a little bit of wear on the artwork, but hey, for the price I paid, you know, I can't complain. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and on to the next.